Hi guys, Colin here again with Print Your Mind 3D and today I want to go over five settings in Ultimaker Cura that you really need to know. So the first one I want to go over is retract at layer change. So if you're printing with PLA or tough PLA and PVA and you're seeing little bits of filament, uh, especially the PVA stuck in your print after, this is a great setting to, to use. And I, I, I don't know why Ultimaker hasn't integrated this to begin with, but it hasn't. So in order to adjust this, we will start from the regular print settings menu here and go into custom. Then we're gonna go down to material and you'll see an option for retract at layer change. And by default, this won't be selected so once you check it, now what the printer is going to do is every time it goes to change layers, it's going to force a retraction. And this will help to clean up any PLA and PVA prints. The next setting I want to mention is a combing method for not in skin. And if you're printing any large flat object, like you can see I have in my build area here, and you're seeing indentations or lines going across a flat surface, this setting will help to clear that up so you get a nice smooth top surface. So if you just come into the search settings here, you can actually just search for combing and you'll see a combing mode and by default it should be set to all, but if you select not in skin, this will help to prevent any of those layer or nozzle lines on top of smooth flat surfaces. The third setting I want to mention is the support overhang angle. And to show you this, this is really useful if you want to adjust the amount of support a model is automatically generating within Cura. So if we come into the support menu, you select the gear icon here. This will give us all of these additional settings. And then you want to ensure that support overhang angle is checked. Once it is, as soon as you select to generate support, you'll be able to come down here and see the support overhang angle. So if for some reason you can see your model is just by default automatically generating too much or too little, you can simply adjust this up or down and it will by default adjust how much support is being generated in your model. So this is a really easy way to get rid of unnecessary supports. Another really valuable setting is knowing how to use the support blockers. So this is also related to if for some reason Cura is generating unnecessary support material, you can use these support blockers to make sure that it's not being built in a specific area. So once you've selected your model, you come over to the left hand side here and see support blocker. And with the support blocker, you want to click the area on the model where the overhang actually is. So where you don't necessarily want to try to block the path of where the supports would be. So actually on the bottom, you want to click on the model where the supports would be connected to on your model. So for example, if I wanted to prevent any supports from being generated on this little section up here, I can simply build in the support blockers and now none of the supports will be generated in this section right here. So the last setting I want to mention is the build plate adhesion. So if you're ever printing with dual extrusion on the Ultimaker, Default is the machine is always going to build a brim and the brim will help to ensure that everything is sticking. Now, one of the things you may not know is by default, it's always going to print with extruder one, which it would be in this case, my PLA. What I suggest is to change this to whatever material you're using for support. So if you're printing with PVA dissolvable support material, always switch your brim to be made out of PVA and that way not only will be it be easier to get rid of your brim afterwards by simply leaving it in water but the PVA will actually adhere better to itself by using a PVA brim 
then PLA if you're using PLA as the brim. So there you have it. Those are my top five settings that you really need to know. Uh, these settings are ones that aren't commonly used or necessarily commonly used, especially for people who are just getting started. If you work with these, it will drastically help to improve your print quality. So thank you all for watching and be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.